you for joining us. Yuma police responded to shots fired early this morning in a Yuma neighborhood. But officers say it was the alleged intruder who ended up in the hospital. News 11's Nico Santos talked to neighbors and Yuma police. He joins us now live in the studio with more details. Nico. John and Aisha, the story sounds pretty familiar for people in Yuma. More than two weeks ago, another incident left the intruder dead. Similarly, this morning's alleged intruder is in the hospital tonight with non-life-threatening injuries after the homeowner fought back. Friday morning, Yuma police officers responded to a 911 call of shots fired in the 500 block of East Country Club Drive. Um, when police arrived on scene, after searching, they ended up finding, they heard of an individual that was at the hospital with the gunshot wounds. And obviously, anytime any type of shots are fired, we have to, you know, we start from square one and we go from there. Investigators say a resident shot the man after he allegedly attempted to break into the yard of the home. Back in May, 19-year-old Michael Sikora died after police say he broke into a house through the doggy door and the homeowner shot him. That incident left neighbors on edge saying they would also defend themselves against an intruder. I think I would have done the same. Done the same as shot the intruder if he came in the house. A woman who lives near Friday's shooting told News 11 off camera she is a gun owner and she would do what it takes to protect herself and her daughter. Officer Franklin urges humans not to resort to violence but reminds the public they have the right to protect themselves. I never suggest anybody to shoot anybody. That's first and foremost. Um, however, if your life's in danger, you, you have to, every person has to, you know, do what they feel is necessary to protect themselves and their family. Now, the investigation is still ongoing. Anyone with information on the case is asked to call the Yuma Police Department or 78 Crime to remain anonymous. The alleged intruder, again, remains at Yuma Regional Medical Center, but John Naisha, still no word on his motive for entering the yard.